I believe there is a misconception of how customer presentations are structured and executed. Therefore, I'm going to address this topic in this short video. I have observed a certain pattern or structure in customer presentations. Usually, we start with an introduction to set the scene. The second part is the body, where we are building up a story, where we are explaining what the challenges are, so that we can reveal or highlight actually how solution X can master all of the challenges highlighted in the body. Ideally, we have a wrap up where we are discussing the next steps. This setup works in my eyes pretty well in conferences and also in uh, meetings with large audience because we have a one way communication anyway. So you need to have actually the highlight at the end to ensure that the people are not leaving early. As time advances, the content gets more interesting. It's similar how Hollywood movies are structured. The killer will be re revealed only at the end. However, this concept doesn't work in all engagements. In my opinion, it doesn't especially work in customer engagements. Let me explain why. As I said before, we have the highlight at the end, but the attention and the patience period of your customer is at the beginning. In virtual meetings, it's even worse. As soon as someone turns off the camera, you have lost this person. And executives, they have to ensure to not waste time. Therefore, they might disconnect already in, uh, during the introduction. So you see where the problem is. We have the highlight at the end, but the attention and patience period at the beginning. Now, the obvious question is how to address this problem. I recommend three changes. First of all, shorten your introduction. Second, start with an executive summary, highlight or conclusion at the beginning. Reveal who the killer is at the beginning. You need to have the wow effect at the beginning. So the question now is what's next? How to keep them interested? And the third part is probably also the most important change. Don't continue straightforward with your body or with, with your presentation. Have a conversation instead. With that, I mean, you can use your already prepared deck, but use it only as talking points. Jump back and forward if necessary. Allow flexibility. And if you have problems to ignite a conversation, my advice is to prepare at least one question per slide, which cannot be answered with yes or no. And I guarantee this will ensure a natural flow while presenting your content. So at the end, we also have a wrap up, nothing special here. So the benefits of this setup is actually that your customer will stay engaged. They will continue to pay attention because at some point they will realize that you will continue to ask questions. It is not a one way communication anymore. Everyone likes to interact. And this is also the way how you can gather more direct insights from your customer. The last point is because you have conversations, it's usually uh, more likely that you have more unanswered questions and follow up activities. Therefore, it is also more likely that a follow up meeting will happen. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please, please feel free to like, comment or share. Thank you.